Texans, we put high value on our kids' education. And so in this video, I'm gonna share with you about Texas schools. We're talking Texas public schools, Texas private school options, as well as Texas homeschool options. Stay tuned. Hello, my name is Dana Pollard, and if this is your first time here, I am a Texas real estate agent, and I have a team here in Dallas, Fort Worth. We do send referrals out to other areas that we've of the state, Austin and Houston, where we've developed partnerships with these fantastic agents as well. So if you're looking to buy a home in Texas, fill out my dream home questionnaire in the link below. It does help support this channel so we can continue giving you great content. So thank you so much to all of our buyers out there as well as future buyers uh, for supporting this channel. Also, if you're looking to sell a home in Texas, fill out the sell my home questionnaire in the link below. And a luxury home, there is a special questionnaire for luxury homes as well. So feel free to have at it at the questionnaires. <laughs> Listen, there are 1,092 school districts in the state of Texas. And some of these schools, some of these public schools cover areas like Divide ISD, which is like 24 students, and Houston ISD, which is 210,000 students. And so uh, it's a very vast state, as you can imagine, and it covers so many areas. These public schools are funded through our local property taxes. And some people ask me, what does ISD stand for? And it stands for Independent School District. And so you're gonna have independent school districts usually run by the city. So you're gonna have Prosper ISD, Keller ISD, Frisco ISD. And then you also have like in the city of South Lake, it's not South Lake ISD, but Carroll ISD. Most of them are named after the city. Uh, but you do have a few exceptions like that. Um, and you want to be careful where you move and make sure that your real estate agent um, can cross-reference or you might want to do your homework as well for a certain address to make sure it's zoned to the schools that you want. For instance, you may be in the city of South Lake and a few of the streets will be zoned to Keller ISD. Now there is uh, an opportunity to enroll in Carroll in that instance, but just know that if you want to utilize the public schools in Texas, you want to take a look at where your address lands, okay? Every single time. Now listen, no matter how big the school district is, the good news is the state of Texas has um, regulation, the same standards for every school, and it's called the STAR test. So in the springtime, uh, the schools are required to test all the kids according to the STAR test to see where they rank or, you know, test on different subject levels. And that's when you go to schooldigger.com, you're going to see the different rankings. It's based off the STAR test. Now, if the STAR testing and that's not your cup of tea, private schools are not, they're not required to do the star testing and same with homeschool they're not required as well there's actually very little regulation when it comes to homeschool in the state of texas one thing you're going to notice about the public schools is that uh, most of them i mean they're just well maintained many are new um, and many will you're going to see a lot of new technology that is used in these public schools one thing I love about Texas schools is we have a 93% graduation rate. And there's like some 300 high schools who have a 100% graduation rate. I love that. Our schools are gonna offer AP classes. And I didn't mention this at the beginning, but we also have charter schools, which are publicly funded, but sometimes we'll specialize in the sciences or arts or things like that, or uh, say Westlake Academy, that's a charter school that's zoned for Westlake students. And so those are run like a private school, but they are publicly funded, which is really good. Now listen, most schools have what we call technology centers, and they provide training in culinary arts, video technology, engineering, car maintenance, public safety, medical classes, cosmetology, and so much more. I love that many of these high schools will help students get licenses in that field for a career opportunity as soon as they graduate. And since we're in Texas, 
we have to mention sports. So Texas schools have plenty of sports opportunities, um, definitely football, but football, baseball, volleyball, basketball, track, and many other things we do have available here in Texas, as well as softball, swimming, gymnastics, cross country, soccer, wrestling, tennis. I mean, this list goes on and on. Not to mention the fine arts programs as well. We have amazing marching bands, theater productions, dance, traditional art classes, even floral arranging. Southlake Carroll High has a program where they do arrangements for events and they literally run it like a business. So now let's talk about Texas private school options. We have over 1,800 of them serving a little more than 310 students in the state of Texas. And these schools, they're not funded by the state, but they are tuition based. Average tuition for elementary school is about $9,600 and for high school about $11,150. And I have seen them when they can go on up to like 21,000 for a high school student per year. Minority enrollment is about 40% and these numbers are from the private school review. And about 60% of private schools are religious affiliated and many of them do provide tuition assistance in certain circumstances. Most of these large private schools do have athletic programs and they compete with other private schools as well. And if you want a list of the private school options in Dallas-Fort Worth, then email me below and we can get that list to you. Or if you fill out the Dream Home questionnaire, then your agent can hook you up with the best school options for the area that you want to live. Let's talk about homeschool now. Now listen, homeschool, we currently homeschool our children. Well, one of them's in college right now, but we still have two teenagers at home that we are still homeschooling. And listen, we've done private school, public, and homeschool. And we have had a great experience in all three here in Texas. My kids were enrolled in Keller ISD, wonderful teachers knocked my socks off. These teachers, both in private and public, are phenomenal. And, uh, but for different reasons, we homeschool, we homeschooled all three of them. So, but with that being said, I have had experience in all three and we decided on homeschool and it's been a fabulous, fabulous experience. And so I do have a couple of videos way back probably a couple years old but they're still valid if you are thinking about homeschooling or are a homeschool parent go watch those videos and it'll give you some options one in fort worth we also have options in collin county in dallas um, so again you can email me if you have any questions in that regard or ask your agent when you fill out the dream home questionnaire the popularity of homeschooling is rising tremendously i know this is across the nation especially with covid um, some there's controversy or maybe uh, there's a health risk people are homeschooling their kids some are just choosing to homeschool for education purposes or religious purposes I mean there's so many reasons someone would homeschool um, but it's become very popular there is a culture of homeschool families here in Texas it's been here for a while and it's just I mean it has exploded so no matter what city you end up choosing don't worry, you can find a homeschool community for your kids to socialize in. All three of our kids are super social. We have no issues with, um, with social skills in our family. We don't have to register our kids with a local district. We don't have to report any tests. Literally, there's no regulations. Now, there are graduation requirements, and they're pretty, like, uh, very low on the requirements list. However, before you get scared, what I have found with many homeschool families that I know personally is most of us who homeschool want what's best for our kids. And so we, like my family, we enrolled them in a homeschool program called Classical Conversations. I wish I would have started them from the beginning because it's a phenomenal program. Um, and but these families want what's best for the kids and so there's a curriculum that they follow it's pretty rigorous especially in high school years um so i do not feel like they are behind education wise in fact my son got a fabulous scholarship and scored very high on his sats 
I just love the opportunity that we have with little regulation here in Texas, trusting that the parents want what's best for their children. I'm sure there's a handful of people that abuse that, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about the majority of people really do a great job at homeschooling their kids. And then finally, since we're talking about Texas schools, uh, let's do touch a little bit on universities because we have many wonderful universities here. We have many great community colleges. And so I, I do think it's funny because many people will come to Texas schools at the universities, like say Baylor, for instance, it's in Waco. And, um, and then they're like, who's Baylor? What's Baylor? It's some small, no-name college, and then they get here, and then they never leave Texas because they love Texas. So I love that. But now Texans view Baylor as it's wonderful. Then we have A&M, uh, TCU. We have, I mean, there's just SME. There's so many great colleges here, and people are very proud in a good way of their colleges. We also have University of Texas. Texas Tech, Rice is in Houston. So these colleges are getting high marks. I'm at Rice University right now. You may see or hear the graduates behind me. Rice University was founded in 1912 and this campus is on like 300 acres and there are about 7,500 students here. Another thing I love is that many businesses are very supportive of both the public schools as well as universities and so there's a camaraderie here supporting education. And real quick I want to share that I have a resource on my website that if you click on the cities with the best schools we're talking in um, Dallas Fort Worth so you can click on the list of the ranking this is based off schooldigger.com not a bunch of uh, public reviews just for school rankings and then if you click on the city you can take a look. I'll have a brief summary of each city and you can look at homes for sale. Anyway, it's a good resource. Go to my website. And then if you have any questions, feel free to email or fill out the Dream Home Questionnaire for personalized help with uh, narrowing down where to live and school districts may be one of the factors. So thanks so much for watching.